Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. And the topic of today's video is a little bit controversial again, just like we have done in the previous videos about the Kotlin Java fight and a lot of people who love Java came after me. But hold on people, hold on people, let me give me some time to clear up the things in the air. Now I understand it created a little bit of the confusion that uh, people were facing that should we stop learning Java now or not, the Java will be dead or not. Uh, I would clear up all these things in here. Just to remind you and quickly here, Java will not be dead. You can still do Android development on Java and will be able to do that in future as well. But there is a little bit more things that you need to know and especially how you can proceed in learning Android development in 2017 after Google I.O. So let's clear up all the things, all of your doubts in this video again. And first, roll that in. Now I know a lot of you are big Android fan and want to become an Android development. In this video, I'll give you three major paths by which you can proceed in learning Android development. Okay, three major paths. There can be other side paths as well on which you can yell at me at the comment section below. I would be waiting for them. But the first and the foremost path that most people will be opting will be on the Java. Now. Google I.O. says that we'll be supporting Kotlin, but this doesn't mean they have said we are obs obsoleting the Java. Although I assume, and a lot of people are saying this, that they are trying to push Java a little bit out of the frame, but still they haven't said that we will be deprecating Java. And I never said that, that the people are deprecating Java in the future. They are trying to get it out of the frame, but not yet. So in the upcoming future, three, four, five years, we can see that still Java will be there. And the number one way of getting started in the Java is into the Android is learn the Java and get into Android development. Now I would also like to add that Java can be learned directly. You don't need C, C++ or anything for that. You can directly get started with Java. Now point number two, if you want to get started with Android development, learn Kotlin and again, you don't need to learn Java or C or C++ for the Kotlin. You can directly get started with the Kotlin and can make Android apps. Now, I have been doing this for quite a lot and uh, the Kotlin code is completely interoperable with Java and they are compl completely interchangeable with a right click just like that. You can change your Kotlin code into Java and Java into the Kotlin. So this is also possible and that is way number two. The way number three by which you can get started making Android app is via JavaScript. Now, okay, I understand you will be putting a lot of comment in the comment section below saying that, hey, with the JavaScript, you only create hybrid apps. Nobody, with the JavaScript, you can create full native apps. And in fact, for mo most of the, my apps that I deliver to the clients is being made in the React Native. Just to give you a little bit more information, React Native is kind of a project being launched by the Facebook and it uses JavaScript and especially ES6 features, the ECMAScript 16 features in the JavaScript. So the way number three is you can get started with JavaScript and can take your web skills into making Android apps via React Native. Okay, so I hope this clears up your doubt about should we stop doing Java or not? No, you don't need to do that. If you're learning it from anywhere or from learncodeonline.in or wherever you're learning, I never say that learn from only one way. Wherever you can learn it, just go ahead, learn it. Offline, online, the point should be, you should be learning. So let's clear up and summarize the things in here. That Java is not going anywhere, but this is also a fact that the community is trying to move towards the Kotlin. The base funda of moving towards the Kotlin is really simple. We want to use the major feature and advantage of both the languages. We want to use the power of Java as well as the more detailed complexity of Kotlin. And we can combine that simply by using Kotlin there, okay? So no need to worry about, you can continue with your training in the Java as well. You will be still able to make Android apps in the Java, but let me add this in here. This can be controversial, but let me add in there that in the future, there will be going to be a huge demand of Kotlin people because just this announcement in the Google I.O. that we will be officially supporting the Kotlin, that means Yes, it has created the demand of Kotlin people. So learning just the Java for Android is not gonna be working in the future because you will have to work in the companies on Kotlin file as well. So you have to learn Java and Android on side-by-side -side bar, you have to learn Kotlin as well, okay? 
And the way number two is simply by just learning Kotlin and design Android apps. And way number three is simply by going into the JavaScript, learn React Native and can create Android and iOS app native apps in there. Okay, so I hope this video helped you to clear a lot of your diets and also have figured you have figured out now how you can learn Android development and can proceed into your future path. But again, all these three languages can be learned uh, separately without the help of any other languages. So don't just forget about the things that, hey, this language is the mother of this language and you have to learn this language before learning this language. Most of the language are completely independent and no need to learn C, C++ if your goal is just to go into Android. Start with the Java or start with the Kotlin or start with the JavaScript and they will take you all towards the Android development. So this is all for this video and I'll catch you up in the next video.